Hi, welcome to Try It, Buy It, Make It, Sell It. And did you know that September is National Preparedness Month? And right about now, we should probably be getting prepared for just about anything. But during this time, before the month ended, I wanted to come on to try to um, show you what I've been doing. I am getting prepared for several things. Um, number one is winter <laughs> and uh, the second wave that they talk about of COVID, which I'm still not sure if we're even out of the first phase yet, but, um, you know, they've talked about a second wave for quite a while now. Um, also, um, I believe we should be preparing ourselves spiritually, mentally, and physically, so many things are happening from fires to the big gigantic hornets. They haven't made it here, but um, I did see a picture of one. <laughs> um, you know, natural disasters. California had an earthquake the other day. Um, and there's quite a few other interesting things going on, on right now, which you can Google or go to YouTube and um, find out quite a few things going on um, and also me being spiritual being the spiritual person I am I believe that we're in a total different phase of things spiritually so pretty much I'm prepping for everything but um one of the things that I am trying to do is put together a good first aid kit and I've been um, going to different stores, finding a few things to add to that kit. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've got. And um, let's see. Okay. So first and foremost, I got these. They're just so cute. They're little, um, little band-aid, camo band-aids. And... Um, I got these from the dollar store and I just like them because they match my outfit. Well, really, I didn't have this outfit on when I was at the store, but I just realized this putting it on. So how cute is that? Right. But I just thought they were cute and my kids keep going in them and taking them. So I told them don't do that because I really like these band-aids. So I really went and got them their own. Okay. Next is Ricola. Um, I got these from the dollar store too, and um, I'm getting ready for cold season. So I grabbed a couple of these, and I have also found them um, sugar-free as well. And usually if I find the sugar-free ones, I pick those up, but they didn't have any. So I have these on hand. And Herbal Immunity support which again is at the dollar store dollar tree i should say dollar tree because there's different dollar stores so that is the let's say the uh herbal immunity and there you go all this light in my face but i wanted to make sure you guys could see the packages all right so that right there were my little things from the dollar store. Now, I also love to go to Big Lots and find things, and I always find some interesting things there. So, I found Tiger Balm. It's pain. It's a pain relieving patch, and these were like a dollar forty nine, I think. Um, and uh, you know, these are good to have around, like if you're in any kind of pain. So I got some of these and I also got sound body maximum strength lidocaine. Now a gentleman, an older gentleman, an elder, he stopped me in the store when he saw these and he's like, oh, my wife said these are real good. Um, you know, she has arthritis and pain. So these are real good. So I got these. And it's a pain relief patch for the back, neck, legs, arms, and it's lidocaine top, topical 4% top, 
topical anesthetic and it's odor free. And now another thing for me that I like to have around are herbs. And I, um, a lot of times I go to the tropical store and I'll find some really good herbs to use. So I went to the tropical market and I got some Malay, at Malayne. I never know if I'm pronouncing everything right because I hear it pronounced so many different ways, but I believe it's called Malayne. And this is really good. It's, it helps expel mucus. So this is one of the things that I tend to find and buy. And it's really cheap in the tropical markets. Um, I think this was like, yeah, this was like 99 cents. So this is something good to have around. Um, you know, you can even pair it with ginger. And it helps me a lot. Like if you have a cold, um, if you're maybe just needing, you know, you congested and need to get the mucus up. So this is really helpful with that. And Arnica. Now Arnica is supposed to be really good for pain. I have to do a little bit more research on it because I've never used it before, but I have seen it in, I believe like topical anal analgesics. So I know it's for pain. I'm not sure which one, but again, there's like 99 cents. So I'm picking them up and stocking up on them uh, to use in the future. I'll do my homework and go from there. And the last thing that I bought is it's some kind of combination tea for coughs. And this was $1.69 at the tropical store. So I'm telling you, don't sleep on the tropical stores. Okay, it's one sixty nine, and it's um a cough combination of herbs for tea. So I grabbed this up. I probably should have grabbed more up, but I got this. And so I wanted to keep it small because I wanted to kind of introduce you to the concept of prepping. And right now, there's so many things going on, and you know. We're not sure from day to day what's going to take place next, but um, I have a lot of theories about it, but, you know, I'm not on here to um, be a fear monger, but I just, um, you know, advise people when I talk to them, run and get water. One of the things I will say is that, you know, there was some type of flesh eating amoeba, I think it was in Texas that they found in drinking water. So I don't have all the information on that. You would have to look it up, but that kind of made me a little nervous. Um, so I would say in, in advance, you know, if that's one of your concerns, start picking up water as you go along. Um, another thing that I will point out, um, somebody, a representative, um, did talk about food shortages. Now, I don't remember his name. If you put it in YouTube and put representative who um, talked about the food shortage. In fact, I'll try to find it again and put it into my, um, into the link. But, um, you know, these may be a, the cause for concern, you know, and for me, I just want to be, I feel, you know, the need. I can't say everybody does to just start, you know, being aware of what's going on because our minds are so focused on politics and debates right now. And, um, you know, we know that we got the fires going on and, um, you know, different other um, things happening around the world. But there are also things that are not getting that much attention. And this is one of them. So again, you know, I do want to give you a nudge and keep your head up and, um, you know, just start, you know, when you go out, grab a can here, a extra water there, probably some extra toilet paper too, if we're going into the second wave. And um, there, I've been trying to learn how to do 
various things now, like um, I started a garden, yeah, a little garden in my backyard, um, because we had an issue the last time with food, and we're going through the second wave, so I did start a little garden, and right now I'm trying to learn a little bit about canning and dehydrating. So I'm going to various channels learning about preparedness. Um, and one of the channels that I like to go to is um, Miss Mama Daughter's Sister. And I will put her um, information in the link. And then um, there's a couple of other channels right now that I like to, that I go to. There's so many, so I'm going to put a few in the link. But um, Over 50 and Fantabulous, she did some hand sanitizers as well. Um, and a couple of other things on her channel. And I love her channel too. Um, my mom, Dania, um, I'm going to leave her link down there as well. Um, she teaches to how to do hand sanitizer. She's even probably going to be doing some videos on canning, things like that. And again, there's several other people that I go to. So I will leave those things in the link. Even I'm trying to even um, brush up on couponing and find good channels for couponing and things like that as well. So I would just like to say thank you for tuning in. And again, please get prepared. And like I said, not just, um, you know, with physical things, but prepared spiritually um, in a way for me, it's the Bible and it's uh, connecting with the Most High and, um, you know, because we're not promised tomorrow here at all. Um, and with the rate everything's going, you know, you never know what the next day will bring. So please just all around get prepared. All right. Thank you for tuning in and I hope to see you again soon. Later.